Today we are going to be talking about this problem from Brilliant. A sequence xn is divided by x0 equal to, is equal to 1 minus 1, x1 is equal to 0, and x2 is equal to 1. In the recurrence relation, xn is equal to 6 times xn minus 1 minus 12xn minus 2 plus 8xn minus 3. Find the closed form of xn. Now, you should recognize this equation to be similar to what we did in our last video on second-order linear homogeneous recurrent relation. However, instead of being a second order, this is actually a third order because it goes to the third degree. However, we still can use the same equation that we used in our last video. So, this makes x minus, by solving this equation, we get that x minus 2 to the third power is equal to 0. Now, if we put that in, into our equation from the last video, we get that xn is equal to 2 to the n power times a n squared plus b n plus c. Now, again, let's do the same thing that we did in our last video. By putting xn is equal to 0, we get that c is equal to 1 minus 1, when n is equal to 1, we get the a plus b times 2 is equal to 0. And when, when n is equal to 2, we get that 4a plus 2b plus c times 2 to the second power is equal to 1. Now, by solving these equations, we get that a is equal to minus, minus 3 divided by 8, b is equal to 11 divided by 8, and c is equal to minus 1 because, well, we already kind of figured that one out, right? So, by putting all these into this equation over here, we get that, whoops, xn is equal to 11 divided by 8 n squared minus 3 divided by 8 n minus 1 times 2 to the n power. And there you go. That's the answer to our first example. This problem is from two, the 2016 HMMT algebra problems number 5. An infinite sequence of real numbers A1, A2 satisfies the recurrence that AN, oops, AN plus 3 is equal to AN plus 2 minus 2 times AN plus 1 plus AN. For every positive integer, every positive integer n, given that a one is equal to three, which is equal to one, and a nine is equal to a ninety nine, we have to find the value of a one plus a two all the way to a hundred. So first of all, you think, oh, we can just use the, the thing we just did with our first example. Well, there's. I mean, we suppose we could do that, but it's not the best solution. What we're going to be talking about in this example instead is something called telescoping. So when I look at this, this expression over here, I immediately think to make it so that a n plus 1 is equal to this over here. This makes, because there's two a n plus 1, we can separate into two a n plus 1s. If you check the solution in this expression, you can tell that this also equals to this over here. Now, what's the, why do we have to do this? Well, since we need to find out the sum of all integers from a1 to a100, let's just see what that turn, how that turns out. So, if we, since we already know that a1 is equal to 1 and a3 is equal to 1, also we can just write that. Since we don't really know anything else about a2, we're just going to write it equals to itself. So now a4. a4 we can use. a4 is equal to a, a3 minus a2 minus a2 minus a1. a5 is equal to a4 minus a3 minus a3 minus a2 all the way to a99 which is equal to this a98 minus a97 minus a97 minus a96 a100 is equal to A99 minus A98, 
and minus a ninety nine ninety eight minus a ninety seven. Yeah, that was kind of confusing. So, but if you add all these together, you'll notice something. A lot of these actually cancel out. See, a four a three minus a two cancel out over here because this is a negative version of this number over here. So we can cancel those. We can also cancel this with the upcoming a6, which we actually don't know yet, but I'll just tell you that it does work. So, and since this cancels with this, and this cancels this, we're only left with, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, we're only left with a, with this, a1, a2, a3, this over here, and this over here. So now, let's see how that looks, sh shall we? Now, now we get that a1 plus a2 plus a all the way to a100, which we had to solve, remember? So now we get that we get this over here, what we just did over on the left side. So now, so let's just put the values of a1, a and a3 in here, shall we? A1 is equal to, well, 1 plus A2, because we don't really know anything about it, plus 1 minus A2 minus 1 plus A99 minus A98. Now, oops, sorry. Uh, you'll notice that we can get rid of the A2 because this is minus and this is a positive. So, well, let's get rid of that, which is really convenient because we don't know the value of it. We can also get rid of A99 minus A98 because it says so here that they're the same thing. So, we can just get rid of that too. With canceling those, we get that A1 plus A2 all the way to A100 is equal to 3. And there we go. That's our answer. If you'd like to know more about telescoping, you can check out our next video that we'll upload soon. See you then.